it's Friday. Finally Friday. Huh. Ooh, I was good to see a sign something about a day off there. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Uh, we decided to kind of give an incentive. You know sure. how that works. Uh, so you scheduled your payment for next week. Now we're running Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because, you know, yeah. everybody's going to work. Absolutely. And so we're going to take Thursday and Friday off. So get so it fun. Everybody don't pay y'all like I pay you? No. <laughs> some, some do, some don't. It's, you know, some even, people think if you don't stop by, even if it, you know, they're not supposed to. Like if yeah. our kid's sick and we don't stop by, it's like, sure. okay, well, they didn't come by. You know, it's one thing with the truck account to do that, but it's another whenever it's your credit account. It's like, that's a different bill. That's like your house payment. Just because you ain't there for a month don't mean you ain't got to pay. That's right. If you go on vacation for a month, you ain't got to pay your house payment, right? I wish, but I don't get a vacation for a month, so. <laughs> I don't get one for a day. What you talking about? Yeah. Like all my buddies take vacation. I'm like, damn, I can't even afford the V, much less the vacation part. You ain't <laughs> you're not kidding. <laughs> that's nice. Boy. Right? So, uh, how's the Matco life, you it's going selling a lot we are so we had all this like stuff full and as you tell it kind of like dwindled down because right. everybody wants stuff the thing i want to show today so you know how we talked about the inflators yeah okay yeah. so we finally got the m12 inflator in. yeah so i have two here i got the m12 and i'm gonna open it up and then i've got the m18 so i'm gonna get and i own both of them and they're both good they are I like the size of the M12. I do too, but I like the speed of the M18. Yeah, all day Ooh, long. That thing is nice. <laughs> but that M18, I like the fact too that it compensates for the. I don't know what, a, what it's some kind of little setting they call it. I can't remember. It's like the target pressure or whatever. Like yes. it equalizes out. Like so, the first time I used it, I thought, what's wrong with this thing? It pumped it up above the number and then it settled back down and it pumped yep. up again. I was like, oh. Well, a lot of people don't realize that when you put an inflator on, it's going to let out a little bit of air. Yeah. Because, you know, you, I'm not that quick, like, mm -hmm. being able to put it on and take it back off, which, you know, I guess the more I do it, the better I get, but yeah. still. So, this is the M12. Tiny, tiny little fella. Yeah. So, Caroline could mm -hmm. walk around with it, our kids. And it's pretty neat. It works about the same way. Has the little stoppers on the bottom. Right. So, that's Well, nice. I got the M12 in my wife's vehicle with a jump box. And then I've got the M18 I leave in my toolbox with the, the bigger GBX. Yeah. So, the, what size battery do you run on yours? On my, that one there? Mm -hmm. I think it's the... 3.0 so the it's the you know it's the one with the wide footprint that yeah, sticks so, out i can't remember what numbers it actually it is similar to that one yeah yeah that's it yeah. so that's what i recommend if you're gonna if you're gonna be using it a lot mm -hmm. use the but now before battery. i got those batteries um i had just the the regular ones that go in it like the little bitty yeah, ones i think we got like a bunch of them hanging around here and somewhere. those would do fine you know for one or two tires oh but, yeah well, I mean, if you're just going to leave it in there and like, mm -hmm. okay, well, I may need to use sure. it aired up here and there, that'd work perfect. But, uh, cause see, like my problem is when I bought the stubby M12, like that was the most compact thing at the time, right? That, that had any beams to it really. Well, I think Kevin may have bought one from you guys too, the little stubby 12 volt impact. Anyway. <laughs> Me and him both went through like eight batteries in like two months because it would jar and the clips would break off the yeah. ears. Well, that's the one thing that I liked. Um, now we're talking about the Milwaukee one, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So, you know, Michael did the, showed the new, the new Milwaukee right. pack that has that battery thing on it. And I hope that they figure out a way to do it throughout the whole line yeah. because that is the biggest complaint is that okay they do have a lot of power but it does break them clips mm -hmm. like the batteries you know and they're heavy like i mean yeah. for this to be a little bitty battery it's, it's well a, a lot weight. of people say man i never had no trouble with mine i never had no trouble with mine i thought well i guess it's just it? me and kevin because like i think kevin bought his like 
one week and the next week he, Michael had to warranty a battery out where it shook it out, you know. Yeah. Well, see, that's it, the I thing. I is, guess it's just us. It's too dumb to know how to put a battery in or something. I no, I think, honestly, it's just how often you use it. Like, yeah. I have, or we have a salvage yard, like, on Fridays. Mm -hmm. There's that. Dude. But um, we have salvage yards on Friday. And they go through, I don't know if I have one of their impacts on here or not, but the way that they look after the fact is horrible. Yeah. I mean, it, the anvils broke off, the mm -hmm. batteries, and they've got them duct taped. They're like, well, I know it's not warranty because, you know, sure. it's just the clip. Battery works fine. Well, I know mine, I bought the hammer drill, and when I put my lift in, I used it to drill all the holes in the concrete because yeah. I didn't have a hammer drill that was corded. So I was like, buddy, you just going to suck it up and take it. That's all I can tell you, you know, because I got to have these holes put in this concrete. And, man, it destroyed the, I guess, just from the vibrations of that hammer drill being upside down with that 18-volt battery on the back of it. But yep. it was a, we had a rough time with some batteries staying on that. Like, I took Gorilla Tape and wrapped around it and everything else to try to get through that job. But it would cut off. Like, and it got so bad that it wore the, I guess it wore the parts out on the drill itself. Because you could just turn the drill, you know, like, point it down like this, and the battery would slide forward and it wouldn't even work. Oh, because they would lose connection. So I gave it back to Joe, because I bought it from Joe, right? And he sends it off. Well, it comes back. He's like, I got your drill fixed. And he hands it to me. I'm like, man, that's great. Of course, we only tested it with it in the upright position. As soon as I tilted it over cut right off so I had to send it back in again oh, so no. I was like that's what started my infuriation with the Milwaukee battery thing but I will say the, the batteries at that junkyard though if we can get the, the duct tape residue off we send them in they warrant it mm -hmm. away, yeah. so not trying to put in yeah. just, no you're good uh, but yeah but the good thing about them is they do nor unless it's just like a huge crack that very rarely have I sent in the battery and they say no one, right. so. but yeah. it is what it is so. mm -hmm. well I know that's what we was talking about before you come up here um, when Kevin bought his stubby impact from you because like he used mine he's like man this thing is bad ain't it? I was yeah. like I told you and I think he went through two batteries like in the first week he had that thing and everybody and i've had a lot of people like man i've never had my batteries come loose i've never had no problem with mine falling out i'm like i don't know yeah well it's, it's odd because uh when we go to sell to milwaukee it's it's either it's the greatest thing ever is what we hear or have they fixed the battery issue yeah. so it's out there like everybody's asking about it um mm -hmm. uh, and i know that there's cases that you can buy we talked about that on here mm -hmm. i know that there's um, i think somebody has developed a strap they have but let me tell you a little secret about the strap it's not a developed strap you know what that thing actually is mm -hmm. it's called a ski strap that's what you use to strap your boots when you go snow skiing it's a snow ski strap i'll put a picture of them up here so for the people that don't want to pay the ridiculous price for some of those in that pack, you can get them for like a dollar fifty, two dollars a piece. Like they're dirt cheap. Yeah. So. So I never looked into it, but uh, I think where I was going with it was, I'm hoping that they're changing. When you know we talked about the the new impact having the absorber, I'm mm -hmm. hoping they're getting they're they're noticing the issue, and I'm hoping that they're fixing it so that we don't have to go to replacing the case. We don't right. have to buy the strap. That's my hope is that we're we're going to the problem and we're going to fix the issue. That's mm -hmm. what I hope. You might have to put that mic on. I'm gonna let her talk. I'm just. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll clip it no, over. Go ahead. Oh yeah. You can just clip it on your cap. You they know, like I put it on your shirt. Video, so there you go. I'm right. not gonna butt in and take the video. You go right ahead. That's fine. <laughs> so that's the difference in size for you guys that haven't seen them, and I own both of them. Both of them are great. Like I hadn't had any issues with the batteries falling out of those, so it's perfectly fine. No, but I'll say that. This little fella right here, he's brand new out of the box. Y'all seen it? Ours looks rough because our kids have played with it. Mm-hmm. He's durable. He is durable. And the battery stays in. Yeah. I don't know how the screen ain't cracked on mine because I keep it in my Tundra. Uh, I have an issue with the rim going. Uh, I, 
I don't know if it's the rim. Yeah, it's the rim. Uh, it leaks down, so I keep it in the the tundra, and my daughter uses it as a footstep, basically, because she's at the age um, to where she's still in a booster seat, but she's so long that her feet's almost at the right. floorboard, but not there. We have that same problem. And uh, so this is the perfect height, so I'll catch her using it as a, a <laughs> foot prop, which there is on long trips, I'd rather her use this as a foot prop than the back of my seat. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Anybody that has kids know the back of the seat is a fun place for them to put their feet. No doubt. But, uh, no, let's just throw it out there though. She is like long legged. Uh -huh. So we have a crew cab tundra. So I don't know if anybody's seen those or not, but they're, there are lots they're of room long in, them, in yeah. the back. Like plenty of room for us to just sit there and not touch the back of the seat. Well, her feet, whenever she's picking on him, she can actually put Keep her it. feet up on the headrest and like, you know. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> and they're projecting her to be like 6'5". So Holy cow. Well, my son that's is awesome. projecting to be uh, like 6'7", six, 6'8", six, which yeah. that's all predictions. Like we yeah. don't know, but yeah. I know she's in the first grade standing here. Yeah, so. she, she's, mm -hmm. some, yeah she's tall. That's good. <laughs> Anyways. Durable. I think that's where we were going with yep, that anyway. Definitely durable. Oh, so nobody claimed the the prize last week. I don't know if the guy just missed the video and went out to the winner. So I'll take it. I'm gonna give him one more week, and if uh, he ain't contacted me by next Friday, we'll do another drawing for the pink tray. Cause I don't know, maybe he just missed it, or maybe he didn't watch the video all the way through. Who knows? But nevertheless, we're gonna redraw that thing next week if I don't get an email from him. So <laughs> it is what it is. So, one last thing I know uh, on that. Um, interesting comments on the flashlight last week. Mm -hmm. So, uh, some people got where we were at on it. Some people were uh, a little madder that we didn't warranty it out. Um, the key thing that, that kind of just went hmm, to me is a micro distributor commented that he sent one in that was completely crushed and yeah. they warrantied it no problem. Mm -hmm. So... To me, I was like, well, okay. So when I was, I told you I'll read the comments and everything. And one guy had commented that that would be the last tool that they bought, blah, 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 blah. So I've always been up front. I've always been honest. We have sent the flashlight in. We're going to see if they want you. If they do, great. Perfect. Yeah. That's fine. Um, in the, in the, the, now Streamlight makes up their warranty, right? Mm -hmm. I do not make their warranty up. Streamlight says abuse is not covered. We wasn't calling that guy out. We didn't write his name on there. We didn't tell nobody it was his. Uh, that's not what we were doing. Um, but we will 100% say that, well, let me back that up. I will 100% say that I was wrong if they weren't through the flashlight. That's, I'm not trying to be the, the holder of warranty, right? right? I've always said if they'll warranty it, they'll warranty it. Mm -hmm. If they don't, they don't. Um, so if Streamlight decides that that's a warranty, great. That That's awesome. But if they don't, they don't. There's nothing I can do there, right? So Maco Distributor says they've, he's had some success sending it in, and, that, and that's great. Let's see. Let's see if they, if they replace it. I hope they do. I really do because, I mean, that's, right. that's awesome. Well, but if they don't, they don't, you know. They don't. So. Um, I wouldn't have personally asked for a warranty on it because there's a difference between warranty and insurance. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people understood that aspect of it. Um, but at the same time, if I can help the customer out and warranty it out, then I will. But in the end, uh, that usually drives up the price. Sure. So, yeah. but I mean, again, somebody's got to pay for it. But again, that's not, that's not for me. I'm not, I'm here to sell tools. Mm -hmm. And, and to warranty broken tools. So if they decide that that's covered under their warranty, that's that's on them. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want anybody to think that, that I'm the type of dealer that says, oh no, you used a screwdriver for you know a pry bar yeah. or- And everybody does. There's no flatheads yeah, hardly on a or, vehicle anymore. Or you anymore. use this chrome socket on an impact. I'm not sure. warranting it. I'm not that type of distributor. Um, Although there probably are some watching the video right now that's screaming at me that that's all abuse and it all should be covered. Um, that's not the type of distributor we are. Um, we well, I mean, let me let me just put this out here. You remember when I bought those airline yes. removal pliers from you? 
they were great. Yes. But they only had a warranty for however long. I don't remember what I think, it was. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, it was either ninety days or just after. Yeah, it that. wasn't. It wasn't very long, so. and I broke it. I broke the hell out of it. I broke the whole handle off the damn <laughs> the thing. handle broken. And off. then I I sent Michael a picture. I'm like, oops, and I had another pair, right? Yeah. So. And, you know, and that's something you covered that we knew was out of warranty. Yeah, and I, and, and I said that on the video last week. If, if you go back and listen, I said if this customer was a really good customer, mm-hmm. I would have just handed him a flashlight. And I'm and at that point, I'm not warrantying that flashlight. I'm throwing it in the garbage can. Right. Like, if you're a really good customer of mine, and I think that's what, last week when I was reading some of the comments, and it's like, oh, that would be the last tool I bought. That's the only thing he bought. Oh yeah, that makes a big difference right there. That's the right only there. thing he's bought, yeah. and we're not talking about the guy coming on here and being like, "Hey man, is there any way that you can help me out?" Mm-hmm. We're talking about coming on here, cussing, throwing a fit. Um, See, and I've had guys like back when we had our snap-on truck, um, they would bring me a bunch of broken crap. Like it looked like it come from a pawn shop. Like you knew that this guy that's eighteen year old didn't purchase some of these sockets that he wanted warrantied or um like for instance one of them was a pry bar that was broken it was the old school black hard plastic like they ain't made that since i've been buying snap-on tools like that yeah. model handle right so he said hey man can you get these warranty for me i know you buy a lot of stuff from your snap-on guy i'm like no i don't work that way like you talk to him about the warranties not me it's not my tools right because the last thing i want to do is burn my dealer and then when I need some of my crap warranted, well, you kind of done used up all your excess brownie points warranting everybody else's stuff, and now I got to repay for some of the overpriced stuff to start with. Well, <laughs> and see, and that's a that. Uh, there's no telling what the comments will be on, on this portion of the video, but um, I don't care if you bought it. I don't care if you're a really good customer. I'm taking mm-hmm. care of. Even if you're not a really good customer, if I've never seen you, and it's happened on the video before to where somebody pulls up, remember the extension? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know that guy from Adam. He don't know me. He bought this tool somewhere. Mm-hmm. I don't care. If it's a macro tool and it has warranty, it's warranty. It's when it crosses that threshold of- Sure, and you get that gray it, area. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. either abuse or it's not, you know, mm-hmm. um, that we have to have that conversation. Now, I will go above and beyond that um, 99% of the time. One way to not get anything warranty, even if it has a warranty on my truck, is to come on here and show your ass to her because I'm right. up front. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for cussing on No, 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 no. I mean, I 100% but, agree. Like, uh, and I've had one other customer that did that, uh, that wanted to talk down to her and cuss because she's a woman and they feel like because they're a man, they can do that. Yeah, That's that the way that not to cool. get warranty. Yeah. Um, so the big issue when we decided to put her on the truck was everybody was like are you sure you want her in this environment are you sure you want to put her into this you know you're because you, everybody know how shops are everybody mm-hmm. and, and it's like she can handle her own right when you cross that threshold to make her handle her own sure i have a problem with it mm-hmm. um so you know for for a really good customer, I'll take care of it. For a not so good customer, I'll take care of it. You come on here demanding. And oh, don't yeah. that's so stupid, and man. Cussing, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't care at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't care if the guy bought a 6S toolbox from him and paid cash the week yeah. before. You know, like, uh, yeah, and no kidding. That, that's just it. Uh, if, if yeah. it uh, even if you're a good customer, if well, I mean, you come on here and cuss at her and, and talk down to her and demand. It, it, well, I, what people forget a lot of times is, you know, you guys don't really, like, yes, you can warranty the tools out, right? But, yeah. like, if it's something that Matco says, hey, we're not going to warranty it, like, you eat the cost of that. So, we just sent off, um, she did the warranty Monday and Tuesday. Um, it was like $7,000 is what we sent in. That's $7,000 that we have put in jeopardy, right? Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, no, 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 you're going to get repaid. We're going to get repaid for the portion. Um, hopefully, let me back up. We're not Jesus. <laughs> We're going to get repaid for the majority of it, but it never fails. If a Maca distributor is watching this video, they can comment and, and tell how it's always 200 to 500 to even 1200 that they're like, oh, sorry, it's, it's not covered. 
whether it be abuse. Um, shipping. You got to pay. We have to pay the shipping. Yeah, See, that so, ain't right either. So we, <laughs> yeah, we we paid three hundred dollars shipping to send it in. So that's three hundred dollars we won't get. So um, there there is some cost with warranty, right? Everybody thinks mm -hmm. nope. Maco takes care of it. Maco does it. And that's a big. And snap on is the same way. Yeah. Let me, let me well, I mean, it. Hamilton used to would use my chop saw in there to cut pry bars in half because yeah. that's the way he had to do it. You know? Well, and, you know, snap on the same way Maco is. We kind of hold the brunt of warranty until it's worth sending in. Now, they tell you to send it in at every 500. You know how many times oh, yeah. we send warranty be, in? Y'all be doing it every week. Yeah, it know. would be like a, a ritual. We're going to do, we're going to help the kids with homework. We're going to cook supper and then we're going to do warranty. <laughs> yeah. And that's just not no fun. So we're, we do, we, let me throw this out there because somebody else said, we well, shouldn't let it get that. I know we should do it earlier, but you, even if we do it earlier, there's still going to be a portion that right. they determine Never is not covered. covered. And unfortunately, that's something that no snap on dealer, Cornwell dealer, Mac, Maco, I don't, gear wrench. I don't care what kind of, the independent of whatever source, there's always going to be the company that says, oh, nope, that's not covered. Sure. Uh, the only difference is you buy from a tool truck and uh, you hope that your dealer can fight for you, which we do. We'll argue and fight, mm -hmm. but uh, there's still at times that it's not. So we're going to send a flashlight out. We're going to see, but I can tell you this, if they do warranty this flashlight, um, she will not be the person handing the flashlight back. I will be, and we're going to have a new understanding of how sure. we warranty tools in the truck be. because you're not going to come on here and talk down to her. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not trying to be this jerk, and you know I'm not this big guy that's going to force his way. But I can tell you who gets on the truck and who don't. And if yeah. that's your way of warranty and stuff, don't step foot back on. The well, truck. I, I guess people forget that you guys are kind of their first step to getting something replaced too yeah. right so most, you know. of, most of the time <laughs> you know and you can send stuff in like if you don't have a macro dealer you can stuff you can call them and, and send it in same right. way with snap on and, and we know that and like i said we're not the doorway to warranty like we don't decide mm -hmm. your warranty um so the best way to if you are going to take something on a truck i know i'm going on a lecture here but if you're in, anywhere if i don't care if you should snap on dealer you're taking stuff on the truck for warranty be a decent person oh, right? yeah, yeah. and if you did something that you shouldn't have have we know just say hey look mm -hmm. just I, be honest guys tell, tell them you used your screwdriver for yeah. a problem <laughs> yeah i had to tell my i set a scanner up for a guy and i screwed up didn't write the stuff down so i had to call Michael a while ago and say hey look i screwed up how do we fix it? And they were real open about, okay, this is how we do it. This is how we fix it. And we were able to get him going within 15 minutes. Sure. If I called Michael and I said, well, <laughs> the dude just forgot it. They would say, well, there's a reset procedure. It takes three mm -hmm. to five days. That would have sucked. Like I'm already thinking this customer, you know, I did this. Yeah. Same way with tools. Mm -hmm. Bring it on, just be honest. Hey, yeah. I did this. How can we fix it? Oh, well, this is how we can fix it. You know? Uh, and that goes for anything, screwdriver, uh, but like impacts, um, I've had Maco impacts. One guy lowered a trailer down on it and crushed the impact, basically. All the internals were still good. Obviously that's not covered under warranty, right? But we ordered him a $10 case mm -hmm. and put the case on him and I covered the case. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's, if you're just honest about yeah. it, you yeah. don't have that conversation of, well, no, it's not covered. Mm -hmm. um, so. Sorry for the rant. Not, I didn't mean it to be a rant. I just wanted to <laughs> tell you. I, all I was going to say is we're going to see how they if they warrant it, and uh, if they don't warrant it, um, you won't hear nothing out of me. If, but if they do warrant it, I'll own up and I'll say, hey, you know, I was wrong. Right. They warranted it. I'm big enough guy to say I was wrong. But well, anyway. I know. A while ago, you mentioned Gear Wrench. Have y'all heard the uh, Gear Wrench Street team is no longer supported by Gear Wrench? They're doing away with all the gear wrench street team trucks. So how does that happen? I guess, how do you? From my understanding, they released an official statement saying they're just gonna support the online sales and all that and all the tool trucks, they're not going to support them anymore. So I don't know if that means like their software or whatever, but you guys should see a uptick in Matco dealers, I would assume, because I don't see oh. a gear wrench guy going snap on or cornwell there you go.
There's some interesting news. The world might not. There you know. go. Breaking news. So, yeah. And I guess that happened uh, day before yesterday, from my understanding. Oh. Huh. Pretty interesting. That's definitely interesting. The tool world's just all kind of fun news. Something all the new time. every day in it. That's it. <laughs> can't have a week without something going <laughs> something going astray but so anybody looking for inflators might have got any special deals with them or anything now they they are your dealer should have some milwaukee deals going on i don't know if the uh inflator itself is uh covered under those deals uh, maybe car. like a buy an inflator get a battery or something <laughs> I'll put it this way. Uh, I, I don't want to throw, um, I don't want to throw this deal out there because I don't know who, I'm sounding like a, a butthole here. Uh, okay. What about the deals that you currently have just on your truck? That's you're, your you're, safest you're far away, So yeah. let's just say that there's a whole bunch of deals going on. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now, uh, this is not like those flyers where they sent out a mm -hmm. hundred of these. Um, but let's just say that there is some buy one, get ones in here. So there you go. Just whether, talk to your dealer. Talk to your dealer and see. Because I see a bunch of deals to where uh, you buy a ratchet and you get something free. And it, it may just be up, up here. Um, and then there's a, a case to where if you buy some batteries, you get another one Yeah. free. So just talk to your dealer, okay? Um, Good deal. I, I don't, if I'm not, did they put this public or did they say that it was up to the dealer? It don't matter. As you can see, there's some stuff. There's options. So there you go. Our truck options. Yeah. Our truck options to <laughs> cover our bases there. That's why I bring her along. There you go. All right. But, cool. So talk to your dealer and uh, see what kind of Milwaukee deal he can do for you. Because there might be some in a white book behind his desk. There might be a book behind <laughs> his desk that tells so, you some deals. I don't know. That's uh, it. But I will say this. Uh, it looks like. To December the 30th, they, yeah, or till supplies run out. It's, it's it's up to them. I don't know. Maybe. So buy your wife an inflator for Christmas and get you a ratchet. Is what it sounds like. Or, or yeah, something yeah. like that. You don't ever buy, you know, your gift. Right. You have to take the free one. You know, that's how it works. That's true. No matter how it's worded, huh? if it says free inflator, you pay for the inflator and you get the ratchet. Free. That's right. Mm -hmm. So there you go, guys. Buy your wife an inflator and get something cool for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we won't have a matco video next friday because we're all going to take off after turkey day and enjoy it a little bit have a good day so happy like always thanksgiving. <laughs> happy thanksgiving <laughs> happy pre-thanksgiving so hit that thumbs up check over for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed take your finger and click that button see ya